You are looking at a 2004 BMW 325, I think it's an XI wagon. Uh, this has a 2.5, I believe. Let's look here. Yep. 2.5 liter. Uh, seems to run pretty well. Uh, this does have a lot of little things going on. Uh, it needs one side of the grill. The headlights are a little foggy. That can be cleaned up. That's not a big deal. Front bumper's in decent shape. Uh, tires aren't in terrible shape. Looks like it was misaligned a little bit at some point, but they are a nice set of Michelins. Uh, it does have the Beamer rims, which are expensive in and of themselves. Uh, it does have these neat pre-made bungee cords in the back, a full-size spare. That all looks intact. It doesn't have the piece that sits here to cover up the wagon. You can refill its windshield washer fluid for the back, right here in the back. I was right, it's an XI. It means it's all-wheel drive. Uh, it does have the port for electrical hookups right there. Somebody pulled a little bit of the plastic, uh, the paint off the plastic there with a the bumper sticker. Uh, all the tires are very, very similar. You do have a pretty decent back here. Um, leather seats. Uh, the battery was a little iffy, so I'm bringing a jump box along for the ride just in case. The seats are in good shape too, as well as the door panels. I'm going to check all the windows when I get inside with you. But if you look from the outside of the car, aside from that being missing, really not a whole lot bad going on. Uh, it's got a roof rack. It's got a sunroof. Let me step back real quick so you can get a, just a quick look at her. I'll walk around it real quick. But yeah, it's a good looking car. These are definitely, definitely smart cars. We had the O2, the exact same car, not a wagon, uh, 325. XI. I sold it to a guy from Indiana on eBay. He loved it. He friended me on Facebook. He's a really nice guy. Uh, this one's from Virginia. That's a Virginia sticker right there, which is great because you are too far south for uh, rust-inducing chemicals and salt. Um, let me get in here, get a little comfortable. These are comfortable cars. This one has 202,000 miles. The that uh, sunroof works, and that's pretty cool. It's kind of a nice day here in Delaware. They do have the uh, Harman Kardon stereo, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's starting to come a little detached from the pillars. Let me check all the windows. That one, it's working. There we go. Just hadn't been open in a while. It's kind of stuck in place. This car has just sat a bit. We were looking to fix it. Um, this button here, is, it's stuck down. So I don't know if that can be fixed. I'm pretty sure that's probably not that difficult. Let me see. That window is doing the same thing. Yeah, it was just stuck closed. Hadn't been opened in a while. Let me try my window here. Both of them are trying. Give me one second. Let me see if I can loosen it a little bit. It's stuck to the rubber because it hasn't been opened in a long time. Oh, wrong one. I just opened the back window again. There we go. Yep, my window works fine. Now I'm going to check all the heating, air conditioning, all those kind of controls. That box works fine. That works fine. That's your ashtray, etc. Uh, that's your heated seats. I'll see if that works. I'll do it, turn it on now. The radio works, but here, let's find a channel. Wow, that actually sounds fantastic. So here, let me uh, make sure the heat works. We'll start there. Oh wait, I gotta take it off scan. All right, let me turn the fan up. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's starting to kick out heat. Let me check the air conditioning. Let me go down to uh, somewhere in the 60s. There we go. Oh man, that goes way down. And the air conditioning works. This car is all right after all. So a few fixes there, and you're gonna be all right. Uh, this is a little bit of a handyman special. I don't really like this station, but now we're going to take her for a ride. Um, if you do win the auction, I'll need a deposit of $250 uh, via PayPal, followed by the balance within seven days. Uh, you then do have 30 days to come pick the car up here in Frankfort, Delaware. Frankfort, Delaware is located about two hours south of Wilmington and Philadelphia. I'm going to close the sunroof. It's not nice enough for that. It's still February. Um, 
Let me buckle my seatbelt while I'm slowed down too. The um, Ocean City is about a half an hour south of here. Um, if you're gonna fly here, you would fly or take a bus to Salisbury, Maryland. It's airport code SBY, Sierra Bravo Yankee. If you have any other questions about the car, you can call our car lot. It is 302-732-6800. My name is Jay. My office manager's name is John. Um, be more than happy to help you. I'm gonna nail it, because it'll be more fun. Uh, wow, this thing really gets up. And uh, heated seats are working. My back is hot now. Um, seems to be running okay. It's a little rough. There's some rumbling from the front end. Uh, might just be from sitting. I'm gonna keep driving and try to see if it shakes out. But uh, it's really going along pretty good. We're already doing 65. Uh, but if you have any other questions about the vehicle, you can feel free to ask me. Uh, you can ask me for more pictures through eBay. Um, I know that this needs a battery just because I had to jump it. Uh, it could just need to be charged. This vehicle sat for quite some time. Um, it does seem to ride okay. I'm really not having any problems. Right now it's telling me that uh, I have a check engine light and that the rear hatch is open. Even though I know the rear hatch is not open. Um, it does give you an instantaneous miles per gallon there. Uh, right now there's just a very gentle vibration in the, in the gas pedal and in the steering wheel. It could just be the tires are out around. It could be from having sat for a long period of time. Um, but you're more than willing, or excuse me, you're more than welcome and we're more than willing. If you live locally, you can come by, check it out, drive it. Uh, brakes aren't shaky at all the rotors are not warped uh, brakes work fine um, this car I mean it's it's far from perfect it is kind of a fixer-upper it's got lights on etc but uh, it runs and drives pretty well I kind of like this car it's kind of high mileage but these German engineered cars they they last Bavarian Motor Works so if you have any other questions about this vehicle please feel free to ask me uh, and otherwise, good luck and happy bidding.